Hey everybody, Kabiyun here. Just want to start by saying thank you for joining my Patreon. I'm really happy to have you guys join me in this community, and I'm looking forward to working together. Uh, so yeah, please don't hesitate to reach out. Tell me what you guys want to learn. If you have any questions about these videos or future videos that you want to see, just let me know. So jumping in, this is a continuation of the MIDI, MIDI uh, length, note length and uh, density trick that I showed in Cubase before, only we're going to do it in Ableton. So if you haven't watched the other video, I recommend jumping in there and seeing that one uh, first, and then this will make a little bit more sense. Um, second thing here is this is going to use some Max for Live devices. So if you don't have Ableton version um, that includes Max for Live, I recommend you get it. Uh, there's a ton of amazing uh, plugins and, and Max for Live devices that people have made. Um, it really expands what Ableton can do. So um, go ahead and get that. But um, for the people that don't have them, I will include the MIDI devices that I use here so that you can just drop them into Ableton. So first thing, I've got just uh, to match up with the other video, I uh, have a virus with uh, two oscillators and going routed to the second one and we're using a little bit of FM, so easy. And again, we're not really concerned about the sound here, it just need anything to show this trick. So then the first thing we're gonna do is just like the other one, you create your 16th note pattern. I have the note lengths here at 30 second notes. Uh, so we have some empty space in between, uh, but they're basically just 16th note pattern. And if we listen to it here, you'll just hear them evenly repeating every 16th note. All right, so that's how we start. The next part is to use the built-in MIDI effect from Ableton called Note Length right here. So go ahead and grab that. You're going to switch it over to sync mode. And then since we have our MIDI notes at 16th note divisions, we will put the length to 16th note. Now, when we play with this gate control, we're going to be changing the length of the note. So. That is the effect that we're going for. We're just going to want to automate it. So now um, we're going to use an LFO. I like to use um, one of the ones from Max for Live. There's a bunch of different good ones. Um, my personal favorite is this one, XLFO. Um, where did I put that? Max for Live plugs. Here we go. Sorry guys, having a little, there we go. All right, so there's this one called XLFO, which I will put in, which is really great. I like it a lot. So the first thing that we're gonna do is map this to the gate. And now you can see it's going all over the place. The next thing we wanna do is we're gonna want, we wanna sample and hold type thing. So we're gonna put this to sync and then make it random. Now, let's just start by putting the rate division at 16th note, so everything's matching up. So now we're gonna get a new value for each 16th note. And that's already working pretty great. Um, what we can do though is, you know, the, they, you can set the first value here and the range here. So if we don't want all the way long, we can make that, we could put the range a little down. If we want the first one to have a little bit of length, you put it here. You also have the depth. But that is getting the effect that we want, so we'll just leave it like that. The next step is also another Max for Live plugin, which is the density control. So we're gonna throw that on here as well. Now this one, it works that when it's at zero, it's letting all of the notes through. When it's at 127, it's letting none of the notes through. So let's go ahead and hear that. Nothing coming through. All the notes coming through. So if we put it somewhere in the middle, we're gonna get 50% approximately of the notes to uh, be allowed to play, and it'll randomly select those. So it's gonna create a random pattern sometimes play, and it's always gonna be changing. Same thing, our gate length is constantly changing. So you're gonna get a pattern here that is changing in perpetuity. Uh, it won't loop at all. Um, 
and let's see what it sounds like. So now let's put it in with the kick and bass, and we'll see. Well, here we can start a little bit higher just to hear. Now let's put it in with kick and bass. And that's what we're going for. And then you can play around with the effects how much you want to get longer, shorter notes, different density. But that is it. So basically, just to go back from the beginning, you need your, you make a 16th note pattern or whatever divisions you want. I'm just doing in a 16th note, um, but you know, you can, that's not important. You make a pattern of regular notes that are repeating. You put the note length control on and match it up to the length of the notes. Automate the gate control with a random or sample and hold um, LFO. Then add the density control to be able to choose what percentage of the notes you want to let through so that you'll get a randomly generated part every time. So that is that. Um, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will get going on the next videos as well. We're going to get some more um, with the modular, some with the virus, some about mixing and things like that. But if you guys have anything in particular that you're interested in learning, please just um, make a comment um, in the Patreon page, and uh, I'll get to it as soon as I can. So thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. Have a great day. Stay safe.